Hey guys, it's Amy and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me for today's video. And as you can see by the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a get ready with me. I don't film these videos very often, so we're just gonna have to see how this goes. It might be a little long. So uh, strap in, get yourself some lunch, get yourself some dinner, a drink, whatever you need to do to kind of pass the time. And uh, it's gonna be a, a rather chatty and scatterbrained long video so buckle in we're going to be using products that i mentioned last week in my if i could only keep series i did if i could only keep 10 eyeshadow palettes five blushes five highlighters and 10 lipsticks so i'm going to be using something that i mentioned last week for every category so you guys got to just stay tuned and to see what that is so we're going to get into the get ready with me right now so keep on watching Okay guys, so we're going to attempt to get ready with me today. Um, chances are I'm gonna get interrupted. Just letting you know now. Um, so this is gonna be my best effort at a get ready with me. We're gonna talk a little bit about quarantine. We're gonna talk about work. We're gonna talk about the postal service in general. Um, homeschooling, all sorts of things. I don't usually do get ready with me's, but um, you guys have asked for one. So I'm going to be doing one using some of my favorite products from last week's videos which were my if I can only keep videos. So I'm not going to be doing the last item that I ended up keeping at the end. I'm gonna be doing, I think, runner ups. So, uh, or it depends, but I'm not going to generally just use the if I could only keep one product. Just go back to those videos if you didn't see them last week. I will link them all down in the description box. Basically, I just went through each part of my collection and asked if I could only keep a specific item um, you know, so many times like eyeshadow palettes, 10 eyeshadow palettes. So the eyeshadow palette I picked for today is going to be the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette, the original Zodiac palette. The reason I picked this one was because I think most of you have this one. A lot of people have this one. So I thought it would be the most appropriate to use for a get ready with me. So, um, it's really absolutely one of my favorites, obviously, or it wouldn't have been in my, if I can only keep 10 palettes. So this is what it looks like if you're not familiar. Um, most people are at this point um, and this is glorious and the mattes are great the shimmers are great everything about this palette is great and super pigmented mattes super shiny bright shimmers and they're just really really great so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an eye look and I'm gonna do one eye and then um, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then come back and do all the rest of my makeup but essentially, as you guys can see already, I have a little bit of powder foundation on my forehead and then I've done my brows, which is typically how I start my makeup anyway. I'm a weirdo, I, I just do my makeup very odd. And then I do my eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this shade right here, which is the Virgo Matte. And I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy brush, just use any fluffy brush you have. The one that I'm using is from Clover Collection. These brushes are a little bit hard to find. Um, they're brushes I think that come from Korea or China and these ones are natural uh, hair brushes, um, which I typically are the kind that I use for blending. Uh, synthetic are okay too. So just grab whatever blending brush you have and I'm going to use that Virgo shade. And I'm just gonna buff that into the crease and that's how we're gonna start this look. So how are you guys doing with the um, shelter in place, quarantine, whatever you wanna call it. I don't like to call it quarantine so much because quarantine typically means that you're sick and you need to stay away from people, but shelter in place or self-isolating, I guess is the better term. And so there we go, look, look at that. Really pretty nice soft mauve color soft kind of rosy mauve, you know, or rosy pink, uh, cool pink color. Um, me personally, um, I'm not doing the greatest at it. I'm very fortunate that I'm an essential worker. So for those of you who do not know, I'm an essential worker for the United States Postal Service. So I have to go to work every day and it has been a blessing and a curse both. So let's just build that up a little bit more. Um, this is looking really nice. As you can see, look up. I'm not good at doing tutorials, so please bear with me. Um, and I say it's a blessing and a curse for a couple of reasons. It's like what postal service Christmas would be times probably two or three. It seems worse. It's probably like twice as bad as Christmas, if that makes any sense. 
you kind of have to be there to understand it and you kind of have to work there to know what I'm talking about. But Christmas is always a hectic time for the Postal Service, as you can imagine, but this is way, way worse. So I'll get into that in just a second, but let me just take my flat um, Clover Collection brush. This one's also a natural hair brush, and I like to use this for my outer corner to pack on the color. I'm going to use the Leo matte, which is the one that's right next to the Virgo matte. So here's the Virgo matte, here's the Leo matte. And I'm going to just use that, and I'm going to place it on the outer corner first, and then I'm going to blend it up into the crease. So we're just going to pat it on like this, right onto the outer corner, outer third of the eye, not really going into the crease. That's how I like to do my eyeshadow. It's just packing it on the outer third. So that's how I do that. So the volume is such that it's, it's just overwhelming. And not only is it overwhelming, but when you go, when I go into work each night, there's no place to put working mail. And when I say working mail, what working mail is, is it's, um, that's just the mail that needs to be worked. It's prepped and ready to go and ready to be worked. But we have various mail types that come into the Postal Service, um, namely like um, first class ISC, which is the foreign mail. It's the foreign ISC um, incoming mail. And we have Amazon mail that's being um, dropped off with us. So we're helping Amazon fulfill their commitment because they can't fulfill their commitment. So they're sending us some of their mail. So it's just been daunting because what happens is we have a certain kind of mail that we have to work first and then we have to work all that thereafter and it's all piling up on top of one another. So um, if you can just kind of imagine, it's, it's very stressful and very claustrophobic. So let me just take a new brush. This is the Luxie brush. I don't know the numbers of these brushes, but it's the tapered blending brush. Let me just show you guys. It's a tapered blending brush. I like to use these really small blending brushes for my crease um, just to kind of get the color going, and then I take that big fluffy brush thereafter, and I'm just dipping in there. Always tap your brush off with these BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes because they pit, they're they super pigmented. I mean, look at that. It's just, they're super pigmented, and um, you have to be very careful almost sometimes. So I'm just going to slightly diffuse I'm going to pack it on again too because the color is kind of disappearing on the out, outer edge. But I like to place the color first so I know where to start blending. Because what, end what ends up happening is I sometimes blend too high or I just, I, I want to blend that edge out first and then slightly diffuse it in to the center of my eye. But I don't want to overwhelm the, the front part of my eye because then my eyes are very, have a very weird um, lid shape. They're kind of bigger lid at the front and smaller lid at the back so I try to keep my shadows mostly to the outer part of my eye but it's already kind of fading on that edge so see what I do I just pack it back on blend it out and pack it back on and then I don't blend I don't blend it again I just kind of keep that color intense so I just blend out that edge and go kind of through the through the crease through the middle but not all the way towards the inner part of my eye i don't want to overwhelm the inner part of my eye with a really dark shadow so let's just say it gets claustrophobic it gets pretty claustrophobic in there and so the way it works is there at, at the at the processing and distribution facility i don't work in a actual like post office that you go and drop off mail I work at the facility where we get all the mail and then we have to turn around and send it back out either to the rest of the country, the rest of the world, or locally. And I work with local mail. The local mail is what I do. It's called local priority. And local priority is essentially priority mail that comes in from the local delivery zone and stays within the local delivery zone. So that I have to work first. And it's hard because that mail's in one area and it has to come down to my area and it has to be worked first. But what ends up happening is there's no place to put it because everything is piled up on top of one another and it's just absolutely daunting. So um, it's been a huge challenge. It's very claustrophobic. There's no, there's no space to be had. It's empty. Everybody's upset because their normal workspace is being inundated with another type of mail and they can't work the mail that they need to do so they've been putting a lot of working mail onto the dock and 
what ends up happening is the the dock needs to have dispatches so they can't get their dispatches when oh hi i said there'd be interruptions come on in what are you talking what's what's going on uh i just well i hamburger by myself you want to have a hamburger by yourself well maybe we can have hamburgers for lunch yeah hamburger for lunch that's so yummy okay so i'm gonna keep filming okay okay and i'm gonna have hamburgers okay with no cheese with no cheese yeah, that doesn't meat. sound very good. Yeah, I just want to taste the meat. Okay, awesome. I can bend your cheese on it. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, I didn't touch it. Okay, bye bye. Close the door. I'll close it. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah, right here. Right, thank you. So, PTI, like I said. Um, that was bound to happen. I know that's probably going to happen like two or three times in this video, so I hope you're prepared. Um, so it's just, it's been, you know, when you have working mail that we need to work on our machine, that other machines need to work. We have three parcel machines that handle the small parcels. You guys, I, it's, you have to be there to understand it. So it's, I don't know how well I can really explain it, but I work in processing and distribution and I work overnight. So there's three tours. Um, there's the day shift, the swing shift, and the graveyard shift, and I'm on the graveyard shift. So it's very, very hectic. Okay, so this is getting to where I want it to be. I might perfect it a little bit off camera, but that's what we're looking like right now. So I'm gonna do the other eye as well, but what I'm gonna do before I go to the other eye is I'm gonna put some um, glitter primer on my lid. I kind of let this get a little tacky, so I don't necessarily need to have it um, you know, I don't need to necessarily put uh, the shadow over it. Uh, I just let it get really tacky and it's fine. Um, I just want to make sure that the shimmer that I put on sticks to my lid and doesn't go underneath my eyes. So let me just get out some NYX glitter primer. It's just that NYX glitter glue. A lot of people use this. I'm going to make sure that I don't do double because what I did last time when I tried to film this was I put way too much in my hand and then I wasted it. Um, so there's that. So you just get a teeny tiny amount and I put it on a flat brush. I use this Alamar brush that I got in a boxy set when I still got boxy charm, which I don't anymore. I canceled it when I decided to do my no by ear and I haven't re-upped it and I'm not sure if I ever will again, but you never know. So we just put that on the inner portion of my lid right to where the edge of that outer corner shade is. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye. I'm going to do it off camera and then we'll do the typical cleanup, concealer cleanup, and um, winged eyeliner and the rest of my face. So yes, hopefully some of this postal explanation makes sense to you. Maybe, may or may not be boring, but I just want to tell you guys what's up and want to kind of give you a picture of what we're dealing with here in the Postal Essential world because it's crazy. Let me just do the rest of my other eye and I'll be right back and we'll continue on. Okay, so I did the other eye. I hope they match up okay. So glitter primers on both lids. Now we're just going to clean up the edge. So I just take a little cotton round with a little bit of micellar water on it and I just go ahead underneath my eye and I just clean up the edge of it and get any fallout that's under there. Uh, and I have a little bit of fallout. So that's typically what I do first. So I make sure I go underneath my eye and I just take that straight edge and I clear, clean it out. A um, little bit of patchiness on this eye, but I'm not gonna just, I could fix that, but we could be here all day. So we're not gonna do that. Just clean up that edge, okay. So clean up the edge, glitter primer on both lids. So here's the long and the short of it with the Postal Service. And we're going to go ahead and clean the edge with the concealer, which is what I typically do. Um, there are different classes of mail. Honestly, you know, priority is the highest class. That's typically the, you know, the name is what it says. It's priority. So it has to go first. Then the first class mail thereafter. And then any sort of mail after that. So there's different classes of mail. There's priority, priority, you know, there's first, first class mail. Everything has a delivery time or a delivery window. So we try to stay within that delivery window, but 
honestly, you guys would probably have noticed this even with Amazon, we're not able to get into our delivery window be simply because of the volume. It's been that bad. So let's just do some cleanup on the outside here. I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is what I use to clean up the edge of my eye. And it just lightly grays, making a line right along the edge. Sometimes I take this concealer down underneath my eyes. Not too often, but sometimes I do. And then I tend to kind of try to pull this down a little bit. Just along the edge. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll take it up here a little bit and then I'll blend it up into the temple. So let's get a new concealer to me. I decided to buy the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Um, I bought the CoverGirl one and I didn't really like it. It's okay, but the shade is wrong. This might be too light as well, do not know. But I got vanilla. I can think I got vanilla as the shade I got. And so I'm just gonna take that and meet it up with the edge. This is probably a lot of concealer for some people. Sorry if it is. Please forgive me. Concealer is not my strong suit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just going to blend that out. Okay. So as I blend this out, I'm just going to continue talking about um, how the volume has affected the delivery window. Um, because there's so much extra mail, some of the priority mail has, to had, has had to have been delayed. We just have not had the capability of working it due to the volume. We have three machines that are able to handle the mail that comes to us in terms of the, you know, the size. So mail is processed by size. So there's three small parcel machines. Let me try to do this while I'm talking. I, I can't do two things at once. I'm not good at it. I've never been good at it. Um, and there's three, there's three machines that do small parcels. Okay. So I work on one of the small parcel machines. Mine's called the Small Parcel Sorting System, and that's uh, SP, That's what SPSS stands for, and that's the machine that I work on. And um, all the mail that gets generated for my machine comes off of the truck. I work right by the dock, and it comes off the truck, and then there is a team of people that open sacks. The mail comes in large bags, and so the people open their they're uh, mail handlers and they open the large bags and they dump all the parcels out into a container. And then that's what we work on my machine. But the, there's so much of it that we're not able to completely handle the volume, even with three machines, you guys would think, but it's so hard because you know we have, we have outgoing mail that we have to work as well. So the outgoing mail is any of the mail that goes to any of the, um, other delivery zones with throughout the rest of the country. So even the Bay Area is considered outgoing mail. The Bay Area being like San Francisco, Oakland and stuff like that. You back? Hi. Hi. What's going on? I'm doing good. You doing good? Say hi again. Hi. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. You going back? Yeah, we're back. Okay. Mm. Okay. Bye. I got to keep track of the time. Her teacher is calling us in a little while, so we need to get back on the, I got to get on the horn with her. Um, that brings me to my next topic, which is homeschooling. I don't know who else is struggling with that, you know, like distance learning. I mean, we're, we're both working in this house, both two parents working, and it's just near impossible. So we've literally done next to nothing. Um, I mean, it's just too hard. It's too hard. I, we weren't built for it in this house, so there's that. So I'm going to take my Maybelline, not my Maybelline, my CoverGirl um, Outlast Foundation, Outlast uh, All Day. I'm just going to do kind of a half a pump, maybe close to a full pump, and I'm going to take it with my e.l.f. foundation brush, my flat foundation brush, and this is how I put on my um, foundation. I just spread it on like that. And I go back and forth between using a sponge and uh, a brush to apply my foundation. Today I'll use a brush and then a sponge on top of the brush. I'm extra like that. 
So let's give that a good spread. Just spread it around. This is not obviously how I blend my foundation in because these brush brushes weren't meant to blend it. I strictly use it to apply. And then I go in and blend. So we're going to go in and blend with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish um, Foundation Brush, which is, is the best foundation brush in my personal opinion. Okay, so um, some people were built for homeschool. A lot of uh, people out there um, are able to uh, stay home with their kids. Those are those folks that are like stay-at-home parents, which is great if you can afford to be a stay-at-home parent. I, I commend you. I'm you know sometimes wish sometimes now after all of this um with my child being home all the time i'm just like no i could not be a stay-at-home parent i just know that for a fact um but distance learning might come easier for people that can really focus on it who are home generally unlike myself who's not so it's just been a huge challenge for us here in this house, because uh, my husband's working too. He works during the day when she's home. So she's home and she's basically watching movies all day. Because uh, he's on meetings all day and he can't focus on any sort of distance aspect of distance learning. So let's see, let me check real quick. Because I'm, I'm blending and I'm not really looking at what I'm doing. Okay, that's looking halfway decent. So, yeah so this is what i'm going to do now i'm going to get some powder i'm going to get this kind of fluffy brush oh no i'm going to take my under eye brush which is this moto brush and i'm going to put it uh, grab some advanced radiance powder this is what i used to set under my eyes don't even need to look um so it's just been super hard, like just combine the extra work and just the exhaustion that I feel and the mental drain that I feel from that and then try to homeschool on top of that and get sleep too. It's like, it's just not happening. You know, um, at a time when people are kind of losing their jobs or being laid off, neither of us can afford to not work. So for us, we have to really focus on income versus education and that sounds terrible but you know my husband's at will I'm not I, I'm a union employee so it's easier for me to you know know that my job is secure but we are a two income family for a reason so because we live in California and you really you know not everybody needs to do this but we are we we live in California it's expensive here so um, that being said I'm using the Maybelline um, powder the fit me powder to set the rest of my face so that's just the way we roll here in California. Um, got mortgages, those aren't going away. Got bills, those aren't going away. So we're, we're a two income household. They did offer a family leave option for, um, for, for folks at the Postal Service. It's an 80 hour, um, two thirds pay kind of scenario, but I don't even want to do that simply because for me, going to work is the only way that I can leave this house and go somewhere else and that has been a challenge for me because I mean I I appreciate it because I'm not the kind of person that likes to be at home all the time it's just not in my DNA uh, I'm the kind of person that will take Delilah out to get McDonald's or I'll take her to a movie or I'll do things like that or I like to go out to dinner once a week on my own and those are the kinds of things I look forward to and when I'm not able to do those things it just makes me depressed so um, slowly but surely, you know, we've been doing Zoom. I'm not a big fan of Zoom. How do you guys feel about Zoom? I, I think Zoom sucks. Like, I don't like trying to talk over people and seeing everybody on the computer. It's nice to see my friends, but I'm one of those people that needs to see somebody in person. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I, that's how I roll. So let me just check. I'm just brushing stuff around at this point. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so... We didn't do bronzers in this video uh, in the if I could only keep um, series. So I'm just going to use the bronzer that is my favorite bronzer, which is the Pure um, Glow Together bronzer, which is the absolute best bronzer of all time. This should be permanent, but it's not. Alas, what can we, what can you do? Things get discontinued all the time. 
So I'm just gonna take this, I love this brush. I know I can't find this brush anywhere. This is a SLMS Glam brush that I got ages ago. It's falling apart at Generation Beauty. And it's the best brush. It's kind of a small kind of tapered brush. I hate large face brushes. I really, really hate them. I don't know how people get the product where they need to get it without it looking, you know, displaced. But anyway, so that's just the long and the short of it. I'm not handling the whole stay, stay at home order very well. Um, fortunately for us, we've, um, we've been renovating our backyard and it's coming along and we have our sand pit now with uh we have our sandbox with the fire pit and the chairs and so we like to sit out there and delight will play in the sand and it's been really really fun my father-in-law was helping my husband uh, and is continuing to help my husband renovate our backyard so it's been nice to have that kind of backyard area to go to to be outside and I've been taking Delilah to the river for little picnics and um, stuff like that we we still have our river walk is still available to us but I'm, you know, with my schedule, it's not something I can do every day. I typically will get home, go to sleep, and then get up early and we'll go spend the evening by the river. And that's been that's been helpful too. But I'm I'm not I'm not a big fan of of the shelter in place thing. And I think I think we're at the stage now, at least I feel that we're at the stage where we can start getting back to the way things used to be. And we can start going out and venturing out that businesses should kinda kind of start to open back up and that's just my personal opinion I think you know we we do have to be cautious and do have to pay attention to the cases and the hot spots and stuff like that but if if you know if things stay down and you know continue to go down um, then yes you know we have to you know we have to start getting back to normal I just really believe that um, some people may believe that, some others may not. Everybody has an, has the ability to have their own opinion and we just have to uh, get through this and then we have to just kind of get things back to the way they were, really. Sooner rather than later, um, that's all I gotta say about that. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to use Awesome from um, LA Colors. This is my favorite LA Colors blush. Um, this was in my top five, of course. And it is more of a kind of a mauve color. I think it goes well with this look. And so I'm going to dip my e.l.f. brush. These are super pigmented. I'm going to shake it off because, boy, um, I'll have very pigmented cheeks. I have to, you have to be careful with this, but I like pigmented cheeks, so I don't know why I'm being so overly cautious. So just get a little flush right there. Um, but yeah, so regardless of, regardless of how you feel, um, I feel that people that are struggling with this, I think that, you know, they have the ability to continue to stay home, but I think we need to slowly reopen businesses because people are starting to really, um, hurt financially. We're seeing businesses completely go out of business versus like staying closed temporarily um had a really has have a really famous okay i'm back my camera rudely cut me off i don't even remember what i was just talking about and before i started filming again i looked at how my makeup was looking in the mirror and i forgot that i completely put on my lid shade i didn't even put that on this is how scatterbrained i am generally and these kinds of videos are just not my forte so please forgive me <laughs> but uh yeah so we did should we just do highlight first and then do the lid shade? I think that that's what we'll do. So, um, I think I was talking about these blushes, but anyway, I picked the Rad Rouge blush, um, and uh, I was think I was saying something about you just have to be careful because they're super pigmented, um, but uh, I don't even remember if that was it. So let's pick the highlighter. I think we're gonna do Radiant Lights from, um, from uh, Makeup Revolution. This was my pinky toned highlighter that I selected from the um if i could only keep five highlighters i think we're just going for more pinky uh rosy kind of uh purpley look today so i think that's what we're going to stick with so i don't wet my brush with these even though they're a baked formula because excuse me i just ate lunch um because i just think they look fine on their own and i don't want them too intense so i'm just going to place that 
such a pretty shade. I haven't done eyeliner yet either. Um, I typically do that off camera, but I wait until I get my um, lid shade on and I guess I just completely forgot. I get lost, you know, in talking to you guys and kind of telling you what's going on. That's why um, this video is probably going to be like 30 minutes long, maybe even 40. Um, get ready with me's are just not my cup of tea, but <clears throat> apparently other people like them. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, call it call a spade a spade and and move on so we did the highlight that was radiant light so let's pick a lid shade and I've got my flat um, synthetic uh, lid brush from Co from um, Clover collection and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into um, just for some contrast we're gonna go into let's see let me look at my eyes real quick Let's do the Gemini shade, the Gemini shimmer, right down here, this kind of bluish uh, pearly shimmer. We're gonna do that. I think that'll um, blend in nicely with what we got going on. So I just load these brushes up. I really get a good good coating. It's kind of grayish blue. I don't know how that's gonna go. Oops, that's the wrong spray. That's my makeup brush cleaning spray. Um, but we're gonna do our little uh, spritz with our Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, which is what I use to spray my brushes. I don't use it on my face. We're gonna place that right on the lid. Yeah, it works. It's a grayish blue, which you can wear with purple. There's nothing wrong with that. So we're gonna just pat that on. And my lids are still tacky, even after all this time. I think I was filming over two hours ago and so I just was able to finally sit down and film this so I've been walking around just in my house with this makeup half done who cares I don't um, I'm not like it's not like I can go anywhere right right so anyway so how are you guys coping with the quarantine I told you how I was coping but I didn't ask you how you were coping so let me know down below I would like to know how you guys have been keeping yourselves busy um, I haven't yet done the quarantine tag by Drea CN. I saw it last night, uh, or night before last when I was uh, at work. I watched it on one of my breaks and I thought, oh, I should probably do that tag. A couple of questions I can't answer in that tag, but I figure I'll do it anyway. And um, yeah, just kind of give you a picture of my quarantine. But what's your quarantine look like? Do you like being at home? Who likes being at home? Just curious. Nothing wrong if you like being at home. Everybody's different. I'm not one of those people. Um, give me a heads up and let me know. And let me know what you've been doing to fill your time. Are you working from home? Are you an essential worker like me? Um, you may be an essential and be able to work from home. I don't know how that works, but um, yeah. So that's, that's the ticket right there. So let's just do a little bit more uh, to blend it, a little bit more of that um, Leo uh, matte, just to kind of blend these two together slightly. I just kind of brush the edge. I just take the tip of that brush and I brush it over the shimmer. And then I do the same with the shimmer. And I brush it over the matte just to kind of blend them. This is probably one of the trickiest aspects of makeup application for me is making sure that I blend that lid shade with that outer corner shade so it doesn't look totally weird. Okay, so there's that. So I'm um, probably going to just really quickly do eyeliner and mascara and then lower lash line. And I think just for the lower lash line, what I'm probably going to do, maybe I'll just do that now. I'm going to just do the um, Leo Matte again, which is that, which is that a deeper maroon shade. Just gonna go ahead and swoop that under my eye with this Luxie brush. It's a small angled brush, perfect for the lower lash line because it's angled. I just like it, like the shape of it. And you know, you guys are probably saying, "Man, this this is taking a long time." These eyeshadow looks take next to no time. I was just talking through it, so it just it appeared to take longer than it actually did because we're talking and chatting, which we don't do very often. So it's good to do that once in a while. 
Okay, so the um, liner and mascara is going to happen off camera, and then we'll finish with the lip color. And I've already said, uh, picked the lip color out. I knew immediately once I decided to pick this palette what lip color I would choose. Um, and ultimately, I think because I knew what lip color I would choose based on the looks I do with this palette, this is why I didn't go with this palette in the first place, and I'll explain that in just a minute. But let me just do the liner and the lashes, and then we will continue and finish with the lip color. Okay, so the last step is the lip color, and this was a no-brainer for me as soon as I figured out this whole look, and it was going to be Oh Snap by ColourPop. It's a lippy stick. It's a great pinky nude, and it just goes perfectly with this eye look. Kind of reminds me of that Virgo matte that we use as a transition shade, but it's got a little bit more peach to it. It's not totally like that grayed out pink. All right, now the lip color is on. Here it is. This is Oh Snap by ColourPop. I think it goes and ties in perfectly with this look. And that concludes this video and get ready with me. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's a longer video than you're used to from me. Um, and I don't do a lot of get ready with me's. Um, they're not something that I'm real comfortable doing. So I hope you liked it anyway. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That'd be cool if you're seeing me for the first time and you haven't yet already subscribed. I hope you'll think about doing that. Um, I would love to have you guys stick around come back in the future and let's hang out together again. All right. Hope you guys are staying safe. You're not going too crazy like me and that you're uh, getting along okay during this very crazy and unprecedented time in our history. Hope you're doing good. Take care guys and I'll catch you soon. Bye.